Uh, my name is David Footman, and I'm the cinematic director on Splinter Cell Blacklist. Uh, in the most recent trailer, we showed uh, a couple of minutes of gameplay uh, and cinematic with a, uh, with a storyline uh, that sort of gives you the, sort of the controlling idea of, uh, of Splinter Cell Blacklist. sworn to protect the American people, but I can't do that without you. The blacklist attacks could tear this country apart. You're our last line of defense. The President of the United States has given Sam Fisher what we call the fifth freedom, uh, the freedom to do whatever it takes to apprehend, to stop, and to destroy these enemies. Uh, you know, and um, and and get rid of the threat. So, uh, the trailer itself is showing a lot of gameplay action moves that are actually captured straight from gameplay, and uh, scenes uh, between Sam Fisher and some of the adversaries he'll be facing throughout the story. What do we have in Benghazi? My contact is at a CIA safe house. They've detained a subject with intel on Guam, but no one gets to ask questions until they're done with him. Sam, talk to me. Your contact's been made. He's dead. You got more militia en route. Advise you move out, sir. All right, I need options. Now would be good. Starting with Conviction, um, we definitely started having a more action-oriented game, uh, not necessarily moving away from stealth. But actually having, uh, having another style of gameplay in Conviction. Um, and I think with, uh, with Splinter Cell Blacklist, because of the wrapper, because of the story, and because of our premise, uh, there's definitely very, the, the stakes aren't as personal, they're sort of extra personal, sort of uh, America's being attacked, and Sam Fisher has been chosen to lead a team to avert the attack. So it's definitely a, uh, an extremely high, intense level of conflict. And added to that, we have a timer. Sort of a, the timer is, is, is basically a timer on every single attack that begins in the single player campaign in which uh, it raises the stakes and creates a certain amount of, of tension uh, throughout gameplay uh, that you have to use to stop each attack. I, I, think what, I think what you'll find with trailers is um, they tend to be very explosive. Um, these, are the kind of, these are the kind of pieces that end up you know, coming to the surface when you're doing public facing uh, media. But in truth, Every single level has a ghost ability and an action ability, so the level designers are going to an, to an extreme amount of pain to make sure that levels can be played both ways. So um, I think that it really depends on, on the kind of gameplay the player wants to use and whether it's right for the kind of situation in that map. So I, I think that there will be, be some areas that most of the players, metrics-wise, will be having a more open fighting them from the front Everyone, spread out. sort of open-faced attack and I think others other parts of the level will lend themselves towards stealth and ghost it's nothing keep looking and really taking down enemies in quiet you know bit by bit coming out of cover it really depends on the level a choice for the player so we actually all the systems are created for both um, whether or not that will achieve better gameplay results at each part of the map will depend on how it's designed but it, I think that I think there's a lot there's been a lot of talk about uh, the core fans and our origins in, in stealth that we're moving away from that and I think that everybody really wants to I mean really wants to jump on that you know we've become this action oriented game and I think that you're seeing a lot of that now but we're gonna be rolling out all kinds of assets over the next few months and what you're gonna see is that what we have is a monster game I mean it's huge so there's gonna be action moments in the game there's gonna be gadget moments in the game and there's gonna be in stealth moments in the game it's gonna have all of those things because it is bigger than any of the spinner cells we've ever made before What have we got here? Need help checking it out? I'm all right here. 
also the, the style of gameplay is also heavily wrapped around the premise of our game. I mean, this isn't, this is, this isn't like a, a slow burning mystery where you're trying to get to somebody. I mean, this is a, this is a, a huge amount of, uh, of extra personal conflict that is just thrown on the player. We have a very early exciting incident in the game. It's explosive, it's fast, it demands uh, very quick action. And, uh, you know, just like anything else, I think structure, uh, and balance in the type of gameplay that you're going to have will reveal itself to the player. I mean, action, 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 you know, once you peak like that and you stay like that, I mean, it's, it just becomes sort of a cacophony or kinesis. And to be honest, it's not fun. I think that uh, what you're going to find is that we're working really hard to create structure and flow in the game that's going to have something for all different kinds of players, depending on how you choose to play the level. If you look at um, Killing in Motion, fluidity of uh, navigation of the player, that same, that same fluidity, that, 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 that uh, the way Sam Fisher moves has been applied to stealth. What you're going to see in this next in this next iteration of of, uh, of Splinter Cell in Blacklist, what you're going to see is the ability um, to navigate more of the environment and to do it in a stealthy way. What we're calling it is the Panther, Sam the Panther, and the way he moves. It's actually kind of incredible when you're playing, whether it's stealth or whether you're playing uh, Killing in Motion. The way the character moves, the way we're blending between different parts of the environment and the geo, really makes you feel like you're this deadly, you know, special agent. It's, it's, it, the, the, the fantasy is really well delivered with this new animation system, which is blending between other poses. That, it just looks fantastic. Wind. I'm taking flying lessons. I'll make sure some eggs and splash to your family. Don't even eat the pain in none. That's because you're too dumb to know you're screwed. Who's gonna come over the roof on a night like this? If we do our jobs, no one. Now shut your dog and get home.